channel. I actually lost the intro to this video. Um, I'm not sure how it got deleted, but it's not there anymore. Welcome to another Come Thrifting With Me video. You guys seem to really like um, the last one that I did, so I thought I would make it kind of like a regular video of mine. Um, I do just want to mention that this video is filmed like literally over three months, so I don't do like this much shopping in like a day or two or something like that. And in my intro that I'd already filmed that I lost, I just mentioned that I really wanted a fireplace mantle for my bedroom. I wanted to get some more like decor bits and then I also wanted to kind of get some more like base layers and thicker warm clothes for um, winter because this week we were actually expecting our first snowfall so that's really exciting. Anyways, I just wanted to intro this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you um, want to see more videos like this and um, Let's get into the video. This is everything that I found at the thrift store yesterday. It was such a good thrifting day, especially for home decor, as you will see. So I'm going to walk you guys through everything that I got. But the first thing that I got was this book on horoscopes and astrology. It is in fact in French. Um, I was looking in the English section, section and I found this there and I was like, yep, I've been wanting a new book on horoscope and astrology for a really long time now and I've been doing a lot more reading and something that I wanted to work on in this next season is practicing my French because, well, I obviously live in Montreal, I speak French every day, but my writing is not great. Um, my speaking is like, yeah, it's okay. So I thought that a French book in my routine would be a really good idea to help me practice. So this is a subject I'm really interested in. So I'm hoping that I will actually read it. And it's super vintage. Like the pages are kind of like yellow. And yeah, I'm really excited to dig in. Next, I found this vase. Oh, it's actually like a beaker, I think. Um, I loved the design on it. It was only $1.95. Um, the colors would go perfectly with my room. And I've been looking for a vase that's just like a little bit smaller to put my dried flowers in, though. This was really, really pretty. I really liked it. This was very unnecessary, but I really liked it. <laughs> it was $0.95. Cents. Um, and you guys know, I just have like a lot of smudge sticks and I like to put my smudge sticks in random pottery and I thought that this would be a good one for that um, and I also like love the strip of yellow and how it's dripping I just think it's really interesting and the texture is really pretty I have mentioned for the past few vlogs and the last come thrifting with me I've been looking for pots and pans I saw this pot and I was like oh my gosh I love it. It didn't come with a cover, which is a little bit unfortunate, but this was $5.95 and I love any like amber glass or dark kind of glass. I feel like this is more of like a pinky brown color, which is like my favorite color. Um, yeah, but this will be really good. Next, I found this candlestick holder. Many months ago, I got a lot of tapered candles from the thrift store and I have two candle holders. So I put two candles in there, but I still have like 10. So I thought that this was a really cute addition. It's just this like very lovely ceramic stone bed. I actually found some more candle holders. I was really debating as to which one I would want, but I figured you could never have too many candle holders. Oh, by the way, this one was, oh, there's no price on it, but I think it was 95 cents. Um, I love the look of these ones. I think that they're really pretty. I could probably polish them and make them look a little bit better, but I do love the oilness of them. And these were $2.50. I found some bowls. Um, my roommate has two little glass bowls, but obviously I'm also thinking of like the future and when I like move out on my own, um, I want to make sure that I have things. So I saw these ones and again, I love this amber glass color. So I picked up um, these ones and they're a little bit bigger than the other ones too, which is like good for like, you know, trail mix snacks. And they're only 125, which I thought was really nice. I just love anything that's like amber glass and then lastly for clothes it wasn't very it wasn't really a success but I did find this top it's originally from Frank and Oak which is a Montreal um, company and they specialize in like sustainable ethical fashion um, and you guys know pink is my favorite color I just thought it was really nice for a lounge I was especially when I'm at home studying and so I thought that this would be a really good 
item. Hello everyone. Um, I went thrifting last week, but I forgot to film it. Um, but I just want to show you guys what I got because I did find some really nice pieces. Okay, so the first piece that I got is this white blouse. And as you can see, it's like this gauze cotton texture, which is really in style at the moment. Um, it's originally from, I think it's like a Kenneth Cole reaction collection or something. Anyways, I saw it. It's an extra, extra large, but I figured, you know what? It's just gonna be good to like throw on with jeans or sweatpants or tights even. I wore it the other day to my yoga class, um, just like over my sports bra and it was really nice. And overall, I really like the oversized look of it um i don't wear a lot of white you guys might no notice that so i'm thinking i'm gonna actually dye it more of a warm tone i don't find that white looks the best on me because my skin tone is quite like red and more warm so yeah i think i'm gonna dye either with coffee grounds to make like a nice brown color or with avocado pits which i've done before um, and it creates this really nice like peachy earthy tone so i'm thinking maybe i'll do that i'll save that for a project for another day but yeah overall i really like it i think i'm gonna get a lot more use out of it if it's more neutral okay next oh yeah by the way that shirt there was eight dollars which i thought was really good considering it's that like really popular material at the moment um next i got this basic it was in really good condition it's just like a white long sleeve top. It's gonna to be great in the winter for layering. I'm gonna wear it under a sweater today. Um, it didn't have any like weird pit stains or anything. It was um, in very good condition, good pilling. I also think it's quite flattering as well. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this, even though it is white, I'm just gonna keep it white. It'll be more of like a base layer. And that's something that I'm definitely lacking. I do have more like t-shirts and um, tank tops so I don't have any like long sleeves or anything. So yeah, really happy with this. I believe that this was like $5. The last piece of clothing that I got are these sweatpants and I just fell in love with the color. They're also fleece. So I know that they're gonna be really warm in the winter. And unlike a lot of my other sweatpants, they are open at the bottom, um, which I actually think is really flattering. Um, they are a little bit big, but the drawstring cord is very, very adjustable. So yeah, I thought that these would be really good for around the house, although I'll still wear them like out and about. I think it's gonna look really nice with this jacket actually, maybe on like my walks. And I think it'll be good to put over tights in the winter on my way to like yoga or exercise classes or something just for um, an extra layer of warmth. Okay, excuse the state of my dresser. It is so messy at the moment. But the next two things I got are these little pots. So I found this one for $1 and then this floral one for $1.50. Um, oh, by the way, everything is from Renaissance. And what I really like to do in the fall and winter is make my own candles. You guys know that. So I made some the other day, which will be in an upcoming vlog. Um, but it is so much cheaper to just buy little pots and you know, some wax and some wicks. Next, I definitely manifested this. I found a sourdough, I don't know what this is called, but it's like the basket that you let sourdough rise in. And these are normally so expensive. I've seen them at the shops for like $15. And I've mentioned that I want to start making my own sourdough. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, it's time. I have all the equipment now. Um, but I found this for $2.95, which I thought was crazy considering that they're so expensive in the stores. So now I am all ready to go. Hi everyone. So I've not been doing too much thrifting lately, but like I mentioned at the start of this video, something that I was trying to find was a fireplace mantle for the foot of my bed, kind of like, like in my bedroom in that really random space that probably nothing will, like nothing else can really fit. Um, and so I was messaging a lot of people on Facebook Marketplace and I came across this one. It's only a few streets over and it was $100 and I feel like that was a pretty good price compared to like some of the other ones that I've seen and I really, really liked it. A lot of the ones that I've seen have been like quite small, but this one is like massive. It's, apparently it's really, really big. I've not seen it yet. So I messaged them. It had been posted for like a month, so I really wasn't sure if it was still available. And the guy was super nice and he's like, yeah, you can just come pick it up and like, I'll give it to you for free. So I was like, oh, great, okay. So me and my roommate are gonna go pick it up tonight. I just wanted to, I guess like intro this part of the video. Um, we are gonna try and fit it in her car, but honestly, I don't think it's gonna fit. And even the guy was like, I don't think it will fit in just like a regular car. So 
so um, but since it is only a few streets away and it's made from wood and it's not too like dense like it's, there's not much depth through, to it um we think that we're going to be able to carry it a few streets over so yeah um just wanted to intro that little part we're gonna leave in a few hours and go get it and i think i'll show you guys tomorrow when i when it's like bright in my bedroom and yeah, the lighting is just going to be a little bit better. Here it is. My roommate and I carried it home last night and I love it. It was so much better. That's so much bigger and better, I guess, than expected. It was like basically as tall as us. So um, I definitely have some bruises on my shoulders and my arms from carrying it. It was like a 10 minute walk, but it is so worth it. And when I put it in the space at first, it actually didn't fit. So as you can see over here, I had to take like this part that was on this side off it was actually very easy um it wasn't difficult at all there was just a few screws and then there were like three nails but i just pulled and it came off because it is like quite old i got very overexcited and i already decorated it it's not even like attached to the wall yet but i just wanted to get like a vibe and so far <laughs> i'm just so in love with it um what you can't see is i did put like a box there and my heavy record player on that side just so that like I can assure it won't fall but I decided to hang up some dried flowers I got these from the thrift store these candle holders and candles the vases also from the thrift store with some dried flowers just put some books I'll probably put more um with this plant and then I also put a lot of doilies these are actually they used to be my grandma's my mom recently visited my grandpa's place and she found these I thought that I would like them, and of course I do. I think that they're very my style. Um, also, I have a mirror that I have to like get some Gorilla Glue or something. Um, it fits perfectly in this little place. And here is the mirror for it. Um, it's just not attached. It's actually really heavy. So yeah, I have to make sure that I really like secure it in well so that it doesn't fall. Overall, I'm super happy with it. I think it adds a lot of like dimension to my room because I don't have like much furniture that's like tall and my ceilings here are really, really tall. So this adds a nice layer. I could also put some stuff there and there. And I think I'm gonna do like a little gallery wall up here if it's not too much. But yeah, it just fits that space perfectly. I don't really know what I would do, like what else I would do with it, so. I think it's going to be really nice. I'm also going to decorate it like with each season. Um, so maybe around Christmas time, I'll like, you know, make it a little bit Christmassy. Thought it would be cute. Hello everyone. It is Thursday today. Um, it is the first week of November, I believe. Maybe it's the second week now. Shit. Yeah, it's the second week of November. So this video has gone on so long, but basically the last month I've been like trying to save money. Um, the last clips I believe was of the fireplace mantle, which was free. So anyways, I am going out with a friend today to go thrifting. I'm so excited. I've not been to my local renaissance in like a month and I kind of like made a pact to myself to just like stop for a bit, <laughs> save some money and I think that successfully did so. So I'm going to see if I can find um, just some warmer clothes today. I feel like I'm good when it comes to basics, um, but I feel like I could use one more like knit or like a warm jacket or something like that. So I'm going to see what I can find today. And of course, I'm going to go look at the home decor because I do want to continue to, um, you know, make my fireplace decorated and whatnot. But I'll show you guys my outfit because I just actually got a pair of pants in the mail. And here is my outfit today. You guys know I love pink. Did I ever think I would wear pink pants? Hell no. <laughs> but I just got these in the mail from Brava Fabrics. They kindly sent me over a pair and I love the shape. I've never really had a pair of like cropped flare pants. And I think that they're really flattering, especially with my blend stones. Um, excuse the state of my room, by the way. And then to tone it down, I wore a white shirt and this khaki jacket just because I felt like a little bit in your face and now it's like a little bit more neutral a bit more toned down so i'm happy with that i also thrifted this um which i think is in this video right yeah i'm pretty sure it is um but i've been loving this blouse it's just so easy it feels like sweatpants and i love like the gauzy material of it and yeah it just looks really good with these pants just oversized comfy great for November. So I'm really excited to go thrifting. I'm going to go to Renaissance Day and then I'm also going to go to Salvation Army because it's like right next to that. And then I'm thinking maybe I'll ask my friend if she wants to go for like a drink or like a hot beverage or something like that. So I'm really excited. Hey! Hello 
everyone. It is a few days later um, from when I went thrifting. So I'll show you guys what I bought. I was really happy with my little thrift session. Okay, so here's an overview of everything that I got. I will also try it on to show you guys what it looks like. But I found this t-shirt. It's just like a pink and white t-shirt. It's an extra, extra large, originally from Old Navy. <laughs> um, but I thought that this would just be good for like around the house, even pajamas, layering. I really like pink stripes at the moment. So yeah, I saw it and I just couldn't really resist. It was like $4 or something. So that's the first item. Next, I found this sweater, which I thought would be perfect for the winter because it is like quite thick. Um, but it's also like form fitting so it will be good for layering under another like under a cardigan or something i love the color love the tortoiseshell um buttons i just thought this would be something really easy to um wear and like you know it'll go with everything basically next and you guys know i don't wear blue very often but i saw this sweater and i thought the shape was really nice i don't really have anything like it you'll see what it looks like on but it's like a v-neck um, I don't have any sweaters that are v-neck really and then the sleeves are like a little bit puffy but then they're tight here and it is quite cropped as well so I thought that this would be even nice over like dresses so maybe some of my summer dresses I can pop this on top and it's originally from Dynamite it was I think seven dollars there is like a little mark on it somewhere I don't remember I can't even find it it's just like a little black mark yeah no. so it's clearly not noticeable if I can't find it so yeah, those are the three pieces of clothing. I also found this drawer, which was like $1.75, I believe. And all of my like, you know, grains and stuff are just in the packaging and I really, really hate this. So I was thinking of getting a bunch of jars and like, sorry, the kettle's going, um, jars and, you know, cute little containers and canisters for all of my dried goods. So I put my oatmeal in here. I nearly forgot this. This is a jacket that I found. It was definitely more of a splurge for a thrifted item. I found it at Salvation Army. Everything else that I showed you guys was from Renaissance and it was $20, but it's kind of, I don't know if it's a winter jacket. Maybe it's like more of a spring and fall jacket, but it is like a little bit puffy. So it's warmer than all of my other jackets, but not as warm as my winter jacket. And that was something I really need was like an in-between. Um, it is green and I feel like literally all of my jackets at the moment are green so that kind of annoyed me But it's it's vintage, but it is in perfect condition. Like I don't think it's ever been worn um, I love the tone of it. It's like a really muted sage. I feel like some people might even think it's like a gray um, Or more of like an earth tone and yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like on I'm gonna actually wear it today I think because it's supposed to snow in a little while. Okay, so here is the first t-shirt that I showed you guys super oversized i love how like thin and like light it is it's look it looks good with jeans i also think it will look really good like tucked in or even with tights so yeah overall i'm really happy with this for four dollars can't complain here is the green top that i showed you guys i just kind of like folded it up because it is kind of long but it would also look good tucked into my jeans um but i love this color i think that it suits me really well it's also giving me kind of like 70s vibes so yeah i really really like it i think it fits really nicely and here is the blue sweater i really like the shape of it i think the sleeves are really nice and it's cropped but like in a good way like i think it's just very flattering the way that it's cut off i think it might look good with like my beige pants so yeah really happy with that and i don't have like any blue in my wardrobe so I'm excited to see how I can style this like periwinkle blue. Last but not least, this is the jacket. Here is kind of like a way I would possibly style it with my Globe Hope um, neck warmer thing, my Globe Hope hat, and maybe like a crossbody bag. I think it looks really cute. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the color. I think it suits me well and the shape is just something I don't really have. Um, there are shoulder pads in it so I'm probably <laughs> going to take these out. Um, but there's also a hood which is removable. I also like that there's like a drawstring cord here so it kind of like gives you a waist which is nice because I feel like a lot of winter jackets like don't really do that. So yeah, we're all really happy with this. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this come thrifting with me for kind of like fall winter I guess um and yeah if you want to see more videos like this please like and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye